Hi. In the previous episode, I showed you how to create these custom trees here. And in this episode, I'll start by showing you how to give them life, so to say. Trees are rarely exactly the same, but using unique symbols for every tree isn't practical. By playing with scale and rotation, it's possible to bring some individuality to them. Under the Advanced button, you can add some randomness to the rotation and scale. Select Expression and type in RAND 0, 360. This will pick a random rotation for each point. The size looks OK, so here I set a random value between 8 and 12. Oops, forgot the A. Now as I update the map, QGIS will calculate a new value for size and rotation based on my entry. I still have a problem with scale though. When I zoom out, trees and roads seem very big. And when I zoom in, they seem very small. This is because their size is based on the screen resolution and not in relation to each other. It's possible to fix this for a limited scale interval. For polygons, I usually turn outlines off, unless I really need them. For roads, I change the width from millimeters to map units and adjust the value so it looks good. It's easier to use a projected coordinate system for this. Then I do the same for points. Now the map will look good, no matter how much I zoom, within reason of course. See you next time!